It is day three of campaigning for the Pongol East by-election and here to give us a rundown on what happened today, we have our editors Imelda Saad and May Wong. Well, Imelda, let's start with you. What have the opposition parties been up to? Uh, well, Willin, um, the, all three opposition parties were out and about today. Um, in fact, the Workers' Party continued with its house-to-house -house visits and it conducted its outreach away from the media glare. Uh, but it did send us these pictures. If you remember, its candidate Lee Lillian said she wants to cover 100% uh, percent of households in Pungal East. Uh, I was told that there are about 134 uh, blocks in the ward. Uh, during the last elections, Ms Lee didn't quite manage to cover all blocks uh, and in a Facebook post, post uh, earlier today. She said the welfare of senior citizens is one issue she wants to push for in Parliament if elected. And she said she wants the government to allow patients above the age of 75 to use their Medisafe uh, without any restric restrictions. Willin. All right, Imelda, now let's talk about the Singapore Democratic Alliance. What were they up to? Well, uh, we did catch um, SDA's Desmond Lim earlier this morning. He was at the Bakau LRT station as well as Rivervale Plaza. Now, he spoke about plans for a wet market if he's elected, and he also touched on the government's plans to build the new Cross Island MRT line that run through Pungo. Uh, Mr. Lim said the line, which is expected to be ready by 2030, is necessary due Due to the increase in population as well as the development in the northeast region but he questioned the timeline in which the train line will be ready and added the announcement of the line will not have any impact on his campaign uh, let's take a listen to what he had to say we should ask the question back to the government why it took so long is it could it be the budget could it be because of planning or could it be because of need, uh, time to do uh, land acquisition? Uh, I think they should be more transparent and whether the residents, uh, will this affect the residents? I think the residents uh, know themselves who to vote wrong. So I don't see any uh, impact. All right, Imelda, I hear there have been some developments with the Reform Party. Tell us more about that. Well, yes, the Reform Party's Kenneth Jayaratnam, uh, he held a news conference today. Uh, he said he's lodged a police report about uh, some threats made against him and his family. He said uh, there have been these threats uh, made anonymously and demanding that he with withdraws from the uh, four-cornered race. Uh, police have also confirmed that they've received the report and Mr Jayaratnam said they are tantamount to a death threat. Let's take a listen. The police are now investigating this and they are taking it very seriously. I am leaving this in their capable hands now that their swift action and the special team they sent to deal with it has reassured me enormously. And earlier today, Mr. Jai Ratnam also conducted house visits, and I understand that he has covered about uh, 15 to 20 blocks already. Uh, in fact, uh, during his walkabout, he bumped into uh, the PAP's uh, Dr. Kopo Kun, and uh, May Wong has been trailing the People's Action Party. May, why don't you tell us uh, more about what happened today? That's right, Imelda. The two men met over at Rumbia LRT station, one of just two LRT stations within the Pongol East constituency. And they exchanged greetings. And also, Dr. Ko handed out flyers. Uh, for example, now you see on your screen him greeting Mr. Kenneth Jayaratnam in a friendly exchange over there. Him meeting residents and handing out flyers calling for their support and also the fact that he will do his best to help them and to improve the constituency. In an earlier Facebook post, he also welcomed the government's plans to expand the rail network across the island. In addition, he also wants the government to include uh, more stations within Pongo East constituency or to implement them near where the residents live. With his capabilities and experience, Pokun will also be able to make a larger contribution, offering ideas and perspectives for policies and programs to serve Singaporeans better. Dr. Ko Pokun is a dedicated and capable candidate. He is ready to serve you as your Member of Parliament here in Pongolese for many more years to come. And I urge you to give Pokun your support. 
Well, aside from Deputy Prime Minister Cho Chi Hien, other leaders who turned up in support of Dr. Ko was Education Minister Heng Sui Kiet, as well as Senior Minister of State for Law and Education Indrani Raja, who also spoke at the rally. At the rally, just to give you a little bit of an idea, um, Dr. Ko, who last, was the last person to speak at the rally, said that he wants to push for an earlier completion of the upgrading of Rivervale Plaza. As you well know, that plaza has been on hold in terms of upgrading because the contractors ran into a problem over there. He also wants to introduce more feeder services for the residents and also he wants to call for additional carriages for the LRT um, station given the fact that he knows a lot of commuters are in rush hour and have problems getting onto the carriages there. Eventually, he said that he wants to help build a legacy as well as to improve an environment for future generations of Singapore. As your voice in Parliament, I will speak on issues that matter to you. I will push for more help for our fellow citizens in need, the poor, the vulnerable, and especially the elderly, who have done so much for our society to make it what it is today. I will bring up practical issues that families face on education, on childcare, on the cost of living. I will do all I can to push for policies that will help more individuals and families to stand on their own two feet. I want to see more opportunities for everyone to succeed. The same opportunities that have been given to me. Well, given that this is the first weekend of campaigning, you can expect Dr. Ko to be out and about, door-to-door -door visits, given the fact that a lot of the families will be at home because they're not at work, and he will be speaking to residents, reaching out to them, calling for their votes. Willen? Well, uh, are there any more rallies we can look forward to? Let's, let's ask Imelda. Well, Willen, yes. Um, the Workers' Party will hold its first rally tomorrow night. That will be between 7 and 10 p.m. And it will be held at the open field in front of Block 183C Rivervale Cres uh, Crescent. Now, to follow the rally, uh, you can catch a live stream at channelnewsasia.com slash Pungol East. Back to you. Right, thanks very much. Those were our editors, Imelda Saad and Mei Wong.